It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to roll. Starting on the mound in this one, you Darvish. Well, this guy's got sort of a tweener. Not quite a slider velocity and not as slow as a curve. It's in between, and he adds and subtracts velocity on it, which makes it harder for the hitters to really get that front foot down and have the timing they need to be successful. And he deals. Ball. Up and in. Yeah, that's two ball, ball two. One I think strike. it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early. It sets the tone for the rest of the game. Ball. Close, but called a ball. Ball three. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. 3-1 is on the way. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got okay. such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to chase the stuff in the dirt. On the ground, right side. He takes it on his oh. own. One up, one down. Got now it. Scott Service lined up for the Seattle Mariners. They're dealing with a sinker specialist on the mound, which can be a big-time challenge when he's right and working mostly from the knees down. Well, I think the approach you take is really try to lay off of those pitches down in the zone until he gets some called strikes and then forces you to go after that pitch. Until then, make him elevated because guys that throw those sinkers, those two seamers, really hard for them to be effective up in the zone. Those are pitches you can hammer. When you get a cookie, you don't want to miss it. Hey, Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. The batter now, Jorge Polanco, knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Two two now. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a ball popped up. Bogarts moving under it. And that'll do it. We head to the back here in San Diego. And on the mound in this one, Luis Castillo. How about a scouting report on him? Well, I'm interested to see how he utilizes his sinker to this lineup, Boog. You know, it's not necessarily his go-to primary pitch, but he does mix it in when he needs it. He's just got to make sure that it's not flat. Otherwise, it's going to get hit hard. So look for him to throw it up there when he needs a big double play, a ground ball, something like that to get out of an inning, change it up for a hitter. Also, get those hitters looking down so that it opens up the top of the strike zone, especially late in and at bat. And he grounds one to the right side. He'll do it himself. Ow. One gone, bottom half of the first. As we take a look at the Padres lineup, this is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boo. These players have been around in the game for a long time, and they may not have the ball. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Not stopping, he's going for three. Not in time, he's safe. All over that one right there. Center fielders in today's game are so talented and so athletic. So when you blast one to deep center and get it to drop in, you know you really put a great swing on it. And that was nicely done for extra bases. So one gone with a runner at third. Jake Cronenworth digs in now. And the pitch. And Three that's ball. outside. Fly ball center field. Rodriguez grabs it on the run. Applies the tag, and they get two. Double play. Long 
throw for the third out. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. And we're back. Second inning set to go. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Mitch Garver. Yes, lead wins. Well, that's that slow right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to. We'll chase that time. Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here. Well, Joe is an interesting one. I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is. Feels like he kind of moves around. Ah, oh, looking, that's a strikeout. Well, big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. Now the batter now, Cal Raleigh. Ball and three. another ball. And that's ball, ball four. four. Take your bait. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. One down, runner at first. Ty France up next for the Mariners. The 1-1. One -one. Runner on the go. Bounced up the middle. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. That's a good piece of hitting right there. The job was to move the runner up and give your team a chance to score the go-ahead run. That's exactly what happened. So you better believe your teammates are happy with you after that at bat. Man on second, two down. And a count one and two. No score here in the second. That's and ball. another ball. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. Home run! He powers that one out of here. And they lead it. It's 2-0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like he was going to bend foul. Was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely, and he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Ball. Next offering is down low. Two ball, one strike. Just no, off the inside edge. And the right-handers 3-1. That one fouled off. Two outs. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. The two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And it's two-zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. Here's a 1 1. And that's in for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Dives and it gets by. Around first, heading for two. And the bottom of the second starts with a double. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now. There are several ways that they can get this run across. And here comes the Mariners' manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis. Matt Brash takes over on the mound. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. And here is Xander Bogarts. Got the back going too soon at strike two.
with the tying run at the plate bottom half of inning number two up the middle lays out but he can't squeeze it he doesn't have a throw and he reaches safely that is good. the catcher Luis Luis Campusano getting ready to hit swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap and I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bomb so many positives that led to that knock now batting jerks and pro far that misses one. the zone now two balls and a strike could be some action here on this next pitch couple runners on probably a challenge pitch coming Here's a high fly ball out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Two on one out. Matthew Benton, the next up for the Padres. Two on one out. That one hit to right. Hanniger has a beat on it. That's out number two. So first and Starting second out. with two outs. Well, digging in, it's the speedy Jose. outfielder, Jose Azokar. Azokar. And a strike in there. Bogarts, the lead runner at second. Campusano at first, two out of the inning. Battling here as he fouls it away. And here it comes. Whoa. And that's downstairs and outside. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you are. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Sometimes top half of the third inning and now here is Josh Rojas the wide to kick the pitch and a foul ball and a one two bounce to the right it's through for a hit on this pitch a little bit but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock and we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole now time is called here pitching coach on his way out to the mound And now J.P. Crawford right back to the mound. Could be an easy two. Throws to second for one. Relay to first, double play. Great job on the mound. Fielding his position and making a good throw to second to get the double play started. Far too often we see pitchers have a hard time with that throw, but no issues right there. That's good practice paying off in a game and resulting in two big outs. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Swing and a tapper. And that one handled. Gets it to first. Out. That ends the frame. We're Your back. And on the mound is the closer, Andres Munoz. Save opportunity for him right here. And he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. So the lineup flips over. Up now to Padre leadoff, man. Hassan King. Looking to get the tying run on base. Bounce to the right side. In plenty of time to first. 
One gone, bottom of the third inning. That play will be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. One down, base is empty. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Gets the out, two out. down after the strikeout. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. Laser could be extra bases. Rodriguez hustles to get it in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. These hitters today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day and a nice job of turning that one around. Here's Manny Machado. So the tying run at second. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Here comes Cronenworth around third. He'll score in the top. It's 2-2. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Here's Xander Bogarts. Righty delivers. High fly ball out to center field. Rodriguez settles under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that's the inning. But they pick up one run on the RBI single, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Major League Baseball back here at Petco Park. Onto the fourth, and stepping in for the Mariners, Jorge Polanco. So the Padres with a new arm of the mound, Wandy Peralta. Now pitching for the Padres. Number 58. One oh, And oh, another dude. ball. Oh, that one misses. Now three and one. Mitch Garver waiting for a turn at the plate. Three and now a full count. A hitter, you don't know what to expect here in the 3 2. If he'll throw a breaking ball 3 1, he'll do it again 3 2. Fouled off again, and it remains 3 and 2. Stays alive. And a pitch. That one ripped. And out number one on the ground. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses. That's strike two. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Down the line. Tatis drifts towards it. Brings it in. Two down. Here's the catcher. Cal Raleigh. And he boots it. But they get the end of first, and that'll do it for the inning. Mariners lead one. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Back here in San Diego, John Chappie and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Luis Campusano. Kicks and fires. Runner takes off for third. Pitch outside. Throw the third. Save. Sometimes stealing four base can be tough. Especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, 
And that's how you steal third base. Riding to the plate. Ball. Jackson Profile on deck for the Padres. In the corner for a strike. Full count now. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. That one misses. So a lead off walk. Leading up the Noah They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jackson Koa. Digging in is the switch hitting outfielder, Jerickson Profile. And a 1-1. One -one. And one. another ball. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The 2-1. No, that's the ball. Blue ball. Matthew Batten. Batten. In the on deck circle. The three one. Liner. Drops into the glove. Runner tags. This should do it. The pass is the winning run, and the Padres mark it off and win it three two. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan. A walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. 3-2 the final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.